Hey what's up guys welcome to the 13th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is abhilash and in the previous tutorial we have uh, seen how we can include the selenium jars inside the java project and how uh, we can quickly create the java packages and java class inside a source folder so uh, in the last tutorial uh, we were working with uh, this uh, system dot set property so basically this is nothing but this is the property that we need to set before actually we can open a web browser uh, using the selenium jars so basically uh, remember guys this is the very first statement that uh, we are supposed to set when we write our java programs and uh, uh, we use the selenium web driver jars in order to open the web browser to do our automation task so basically we set the property and the first string uh, that we set as the first argument for this particular method is uh, web driver dot uh, the name of the browser that we will be working with so for now we will be working with chrome and suppose if it is so sorry uh, for now we will be working with the uh, firefox browser so the name of the driver server is uh, gecko for firefox and when we will be working with chrome the uh, web driver uh, server name is uh, chrome so basically uh, instead of gecko we will write chrome okay so this is the way we can uh, include the driver servers and set the required uh, property of the java classes so so this is the first argument of uh, set property method that is web driver gecko driver and the second parameter that it uh, takes is the path of uh, that particular driver server so i have included the path and remember guys when we uh, work with the paths that is the paths of the local directory or any other path instead of a single slash we need to uh, include another slash so basically in java there's a particular meaning when we use a single slash along with the character that is followed by the single uh, forward slash so uh, for now you just need to remember that uh, whenever we use the paths we need to include a uh, double slashes whenever in place of a single slash so what it exactly does is uh, it will as this is a kind of escape character so basically it will include a single slash when we include it uh, within the double quotes, double quotes inside the java class so basically this is the way we can uh, include our uh, paths and include the driver server that is present uh, inside this path of uh, our local directory so basically that's uh, all about the very first statement that we are supposed to use uh, based on the web browser that we will be working with and the next thing as i have explained to you is uh, the web driver interface that we will be working with and this is the uh, variable name or you can say the object that we have uh, declared so we need to assign this uh, object so for assigning we uh, write the name of the object on the left hand side and equal to this will be a new firefox driver so whenever we create a new objects there's a new keyword that we use and along with the name of the uh, uh, the name of the class or uh, the interface so in this case we have something called as firefox driver again if you guys are new uh, with this java stuff you don't have to worry much about uh, the different things uh, just stick to this particular tutorial series and i will ensure that all the concepts are uh, easy for you guys to understand so basically the uh, driver needs to be assigned a new firefox driver so this is the name of the class that uh, we use and uh, a new particular object will be created 
of uh, the Firefox web browser and it will be assigned to this particular instance of web driver again if you notice guys uh, whenever we uh, include any classes over here there's a statement that is uh, included in our Java class so basically this is nothing but this is the path of the package in which uh, the classes that we are using are uh, present so as you can see this is the path uh, where uh, this web driver is present inside uh, inside one of the char files and this is the Firefox uh, driver uh, package path so basically uh, this will be automatically included and you need not have to include it manually if you are using the auto suggestion feature of Eclipse IDE so that's the way we can uh, quickly uh, assign uh, the class to the driver object now we can use this object in order to open the web driver and this particular statement will open the web browser and in order to open the web page in this particular web browser instance we have a method called as get so basically using this object and dot so in order to use the methods inside uh, these objects we uh, type the name of the object and then dot followed by which method you are going to use so basically we have a method called as get and it takes the argument as uh, the URL of uh, the web page that you are going to open so as we are working with our uh, web pages which are present in the local directory we can quickly copy the URL paste it and semicolon so this is the way you can open the URL uh, using the driver object and using the get method and provide the URL it can be any URL uh, in this case it is uh, the path in the local directory or it can be Google or Facebook or any other website that you are working with it uh, takes the entire path of the HTML web page that you will be working with so basically that's the way we can uh, open a URL inside the browser so let's quickly execute this uh, program so after saving it you click on run so as you can see it will try to open the web browser as you can see it has already opened the web browser that is Firefox browser and opened the required uh, URL that we have uh, passed in the get method so that's the way we can uh, quickly create our test automation script and open the web pages that we need to test so basically that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial